I wouldn't know how to land it. I wasn't really planning on landing it. Those words from 28-year-old ramp agent Richard Russell to air traffic controllers on the night of August 10th. We're just trying to find a place for you to land safely. Controllers who work to avoid a fatal result. What the FBI calls an intentional crash onto Ketron Island in Puget Sound. There is no question that despite the tragedy of one man losing his life in this kind of fashion and taking an airplane with him, in the meantime, he imperiled just about everybody in Seattle. Pilot and air safety analyst John Nance. First, there was the airport as Richard Russell, with no flight plan and no clearance, rolled out in front of other airplanes to reach the runway at SeaTac. Then he wasn't talking to anybody. The plane referred to as a Dash 8. Russell did not have a pilot's license, but the FBI says he did have the internet at home and used flight instruction videos to learn. His job and security clearances also gave him access to planes, and he was familiar with the checklist to get a plane started. The FBI says Russell was not a terrorist, but for authorities at the airport, once it was determined a, quote, unauthorized flight had taken off, concern immediately flashed to a packed Safeco field for a Pearl Jam concert. Russell avoided Seattle, but flew over less but still very populated areas, crashing the plane on an island with just a few homes. Nobody ever wants to see this happen again. Better security, better mental health assistance. Even though this involves messy human beings and psychology and problems trying to figure out what somebody might have in their mind, I am very confident that we can get to zero. I mean, when you stop and consider the rarity of this, we're pretty close already. But I now, the FBI's report is not the last word on everything. The Port of Seattle, which operates SeaTac Airport, says an independent after-action report is expected to be completed by the end of this year. The airport and other parts of an, is also part of a national industry working group looking at a range of issues, including security and mental health. Back to you guys.